decided sometimes it does this just just for the first episode of the the night. It it takes a minute to start recording. <laughs> oh, uh, don't ask me why. Welcome to the edit, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what? <laughs> the drowned crew. Boss killing time. Yep. Give them all a sailor's death. Did did they not already have that? Didn't they drown? Yeah, is that... Is that a sailor's death? Oh, do they want us to kill them by giving them no vitamin C? Oh, that might, <laughs> that might be it, yeah. Or various sexual diseases. Well. I mean, either way, I think drowning is possibly preferable. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of things that drowning is preferable to, but... <laughs> no, this is true. I mean, I don't know. Scurvy, I guess, is reversible. Yeah. So I was looking at I was looking at a thing the other day. Um, interesting diseases, as opposed to uninteresting diseases. Mm. And no, nobody wants those. No. <laughs> well, somebody clearly had the the thing I was reading before me and had gotten bored and scribbled on it. Yeah. So and it was talking about syphilis and how there's like you know de- several different versions of it and everything. And it was like tertiary syphilis, and it's like symptoms. It was like disfigurement, and this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. And there's like a picture of somebody like looking almost skeletal. Mm. And somebody had put symptoms, star, corpse face. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> and no, I was not looking it up because I was looking at it for reference. I'm fine. Mm. <laughs> Just kind of itches a little. <laughs> How does that look? Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Five holy waters? Carrying an extra one yeah. for good... Why have, we got... Why have there Why? six keys? If you, if you broke the game. <laughs> I thought I only clicked it three times. Maybe it had lag. Maybe. Yeah, so six, six keys and five today. holy waters. Do we need a fifth? You carrying it just in case? Pretty much. We normally carry a single holy water for curios. Yeah. It's, it's one per person plus one for curio. I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, let's let's get out there then. While the greedy dogs slept off their revelry, I hexed their anchor with every twisted incantation. You're just a dick. <laughs> <laughs> with the weight of my ambition and my contempt for their crude extortion, at the witching hour. The anchor pulled with preternatural force, dragging craft and crew down into the depths. They must have cried out, but no sound escaped the swirling black waters. <laughs> You're just well, a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just pure, unadulterated evil dick. Good devils, chained and drowning for eternity. But you did. You did it. They've already drowned. I'm not convinced we can give them a sailor's death. Just go in, open the thing, go oh. out. Empty. Let's T- just pretend T- that we never did this. Totally worth it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if the boss had been in that bottom room, that'd have been like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's probably in this room here. Yeah. It's the furthest one. Probably. Although this game doesn't necessarily always give you the furthest room. Hmm. There have been times when it's been a closer one. Yeah, it tends to be scattered all over the place, but yeah. it, it's usually f- further away rather than closer. Yeah. Ooh, ka-ching! Ooh. First fight. Surprise! Right then. Getting rid of this guy? Yeah, I guess. You wouldn't think that this guy would be really vulnerable to blight. Feels like it looks like a walking blight factory, but no, yeah. it does so. Looks like it looks like what he is—a walking corpse. Yeah, <laughs> shouldn't really be bothered by blight, <laughs> but. <sighs> Not quite dealt with, sadly, but. I mean, I mean we, yeah, yeah. You got nothing to heal. Ah, oh, come really? on. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Unnerved. Unbalanced. Yay. Rude. 
Well, I mean, assuming. Well, he, he didn't explode, that's fine. Yeah, as long as he doesn't explode now, it should be okay. I mean, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> Just wish uh, you, you'd had a turn before, uh, before Mac came up, but. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Nerf. Oh, come on! That's what they do. We're gonna get no actions this turn. Oh, oh. thank god. <laughs> <laughs> That's a surprise. Patch everyone back up, I guess. Yeah. Uh... So much protect. <laughs> <laughs> Two can play at this game. Yeah. Oh, you guys just dicks. <laughs> Rude. And this one doesn't have battlefield medicine either. <laughs> no. Well, just uh. It'd be nice if these guys went. Yeah, we we want you to die. We're not fans of you. So I went into town the other day, and for like the first time ever, uh, went and found a uh, antique shop that I was aware existed in town, but I'd never been to. Yeah. Um, and it was hella cool. Well, like it had like three floors of stuff, and we're talking like every and anything you could think of, yeah. including. And I was amazed. Now I remember when I was a kid, Star Wars became a thing again. And, like, all of the Star Wars stuff was, like, hella expensive and really hard to find. Yeah. And I remember a time, way back when I was a child, you couldn't get a Millennium Falcon toy for, like, less than, like, 200 quid. Because it was yeah. insanely rare and so hard to find. And I was like, huh. I went into this shop and they had one for, like, 30 quid. And I was like, wow. And I nearly bought it just because I was like, I never had this as a kid. <laughs> And my other half was like, you should totally buy it. And I was like, it it's not that it's 30 quid. Like, I would completely buy it. It's just, it's, you know, the size of a small coffee table. <laughs> Where would I put it? And they also had, like, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter with Darth Vader in. I was like, this this is com some cool stuff here. Yeah. And an original, um, you know, like, from the very first time they made Star Wars toys, uh, Snowspeeder. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool as well. Like, and I, the Snow Speed is one of my favourite vehicles, so I was sorely tempted to buy that. Yeah. Um, I may, in fact, go back at some point and get it if it's still there, because that's pretty cool. And they had, like, a huge collection of all sorts of action figures and everything. And they got some, some, some that I applauded just on principle that I would never buy. And some I was like, oh, that's very tempting. Yeah. Like, they had the complete cast of the Big Bang in Star Trek outfits. Right. And I was like, I would never buy those, but I applaud that they exist and there's a complete collection here. That would make some nerd very happy. <laughs> yeah, I might transform back here and use this stress heal. Yeah, I mean, it's not. We're only, we're only going to be doing like right four now. damage. Uh, but yeah, and there's all kinds of really funky stuff there. Um. I'm trying to remember what else I saw that was quite impressive. There were some things that I haven't seen since I was a kid that I knew were things, forgot were things because they weren't important, and then saw them there and was like, huh, that's a thing. Um, yeah. Buffy the Vampire Slayer script books, for example, come into that category. Yeah. I knew they were a thing. I never cared about them, ever, when I was younger. And then I saw them there and I was like, huh. <laughs> uh, oh, I saw, you, I saw you something I did see that I was quite amused at that I thought you would have appreciated as well. Transformers More Than Meets the Eye board game. Yeah. I did not know there was a board game. No, me and, neither. And it had the original Galvatron on the cover. <laughs> and I was like, oh wow, that's that's pretty awesome. I uh, I do applaud that. So, uh, yeah. It was one of those things where I was like, I could buy that. Would I ever actually play it? Yeah. <laughs> So I feel like we would play it. We could take it to one of the New Year's parties. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I played. Another mariner. Another mission. I mean, it's probably like horrendously simple and childish, <laughs> but yeah. But I'd be okay with that. <laughs> when we're playing a game at like three in the morning and we're all dead on our feet. Yeah, that, that can be an advantage. <laughs> I feel like you should have gone the long way around. Yeah, maybe. I mean, we might not need just, to. Just hoping to get a scout over here. Yeah. This is probably where it's going to be. Yeah. It's a, it's a boss mission. Fishmen! A full squad of fishmen. Let's murder them. Yeah. Let's see if uh, Matt can chew through a, th a few of these. Start. Yeah, I mean, potentially we take one off the table here. Yeah. Do we want to. Do we bolster and then. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, we'll just that that guy. Uh, yeah, this one's got the highest accuracy. Yeah, we don't want to risk him dodging. Although this one does a lot more damage, actually. The other one's not a guarantee. Is that a guaranteed kill? No, it is a guaranteed kill. Yeah. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. But yeah, it was uh, quite a cool place, and I will definitely go back and have another look around it. Yeah. Uh, there's like one whole corner of one floor that was just dedicated to comics. Yeah. And they had like all the all the old 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 ones, like you know, Beano, Dandy, Beza, things like that. And then they got some more modern stuff. Um, there's like a Games Workshop section, so clearly somebody just emptied out their collection. Yeah. Uh, there was a book of, uh, several books of Lego, uh, of which mode the half took the one on, uh, was it Brick City, adult, Lego Frag adults. She bought that. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was just plenty of uh, really cool stuff there. Definitely will consider going back. Yeah. A momentary abatement. Well, like I said, I'd known about it for ages, but just never got around to going. Oh, we moved forward one. Yeah. I mean, can we clear Definitely. a corpse with it? Yeah. Yeah, might as well move forward as well. Whew! I did some damage. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should use that more often. <laughs> ah! Ooh. Oh, come on! We just fixed that. Dickhole. I mean, you could always emboldening vapors our front guy because he's slow, but yeah, because he's not got his repost up yet. Might not even need it at this point, but yeah, sure. I feel like emboldening vapors is such a good move. <laughs> ah, plague doctors and their feeble HP. Yeah. No, stop it, <laughs> Rolf. Rolf. Maybe we should have been protecting the witch doctor. <laughs> sure. <Yeah>, why not? <laughs> you stop breathing. <laughs> You're never meant to breathe on land, so stop. Ah, oh, to get a heal. Yeah. Ooh, boost. Unforgiving. I mean, we can drop that hunk of jack garbage. Yeah. Uh, I feel like eight crest is probably not worth the gold. No. We've got pretty much all of the upgrade stuff done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Onward, intrepid fellows. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of empty sacks here. Yeah. I see somebody's been through here recently. Yeah. Matt looks so sad. <laughs> Poor guy. Wish I could cheer him up. In no scout! Yeah. <laughs> We're going to encounter the boss by accident at this rate. <laughs> Might happen. Fuck him up! <laughs> 
Oh, have you seen any of the TFS updates recently, by the way? No, I don't normally watch just the uh, straight up update videos. Like, I, I, I get it, content makes takes time to make. I'll wait. Well, yeah, there is that, but the recent update is that they're dropping the BoJack movie. Yeah? <laughs> they're just not doing it. What? How come? Well, to quote Lanny, BoJack sucks flaccid dick. <laughs> <laughs> what? So basically, they, they they put that video out, got a massive backlash from the fan base, then Kaiser had to put out an apology video. <laughs> I think that's one of the better movies. Well, this this is what they said. They were like, um, visually, it's amazing. But in terms of the actual plot and speech of the characters... Wait, it has a plot? Well, exactly. <laughs> the, the plot is weak. And there's not a lot of dialogue. So they were like, we literally had nothing to rewrite. Because it was, you know, there wasn't much to really say. So they're like, we would literally just be making the movie rather than actually doing an abridgment of it. So, uh, they've said, rather than do that and put out something we're not happy with that's subpar for the fans, we've just decided to drop it. Not happy about that. See, like, you, you wouldn't have known that, because you didn't watch the video, and you'd have been waiting forever. Yeah, I guess so. I mean... I do, it's been a long time since I've actually watched it, but I do remember it being one of the... I, I, I liked it. It's one of the better movies. I liked it. I liked it, and I think it's very disappointing because they set the joke up of him being the pirate. Yeah, Bojax appeared <laughs> in the series already. Yeah, like... I'm sure... This is the thing. I'm sure they could have done something with it. Yeah. They've just chosen not to, that's, essentially. That's one of the ones I've been really looking forward to. Yeah, like I feel like they could have done something with it, but mm -hmm. for whatever reason, they haven't. Yeah. But uh, hey ho, it's you know we don't have a say in it. That's We're just the fans. A victory, yeah. <laughs> but a nonetheless. but um, yeah, it's one of those things where it's just kind of like that's a shame. Yeah. Is the boss in here? The boss is not in here. Actually, not. no scout either. Though. No. <laughs> do we walk back to this room and see if we can get that scout? I think we do. I mean, I don't think we get scout for re-entering rooms we've been in, do we? No, this room here. Oh, okay. Just but the boss we... might be in that room. It's possible. It's probably in this room at the back. If we can get the scout of this room and know that the boss is there. But if the boss is there... Well, you think we should rest here? Or? I mean, I feel like we're probably safer doing that because if, if it's in... It's going to be in one of those two rooms, we think. Probably. Okay, yeah, we can rest here then. Yeah, we don't really need the rest, but we might as well just get buffed up. Yeah, it's more about the bus than the, the yeah. health or anything. Okay, yeah, here we go. I mean, we've made a lot of money on this venture. We're not going back unless we have to. Yeah. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. All the heels. <laughs> uh, we probably want the sanctuary. Yep. Yeah. Got the prey, five percent protect for most of these. Yeah, I got anything better. Not really. Psycho, twenty-five percent damage, but it uh, stresses people out just a just a tad. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the Relon's probably got some good stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's the one we normally go to. Yeah, I mean, that, that's practice. not bad. Yeah, extra damage, extra crit, and then tactics, lots of extra dodge. We'll probably go for both of those. Yeah, we've got a boss fight coming up. Yeah. More dodge! <laughs> More dodge! <laughs> well, I mean, that's one of the main strengths of the, the Man at Arms. He's got these really good resting buffs. Yeah, I mean, the, the Man at Arms is just generally an all round survivalist. Yeah. If only he would hit a little harder, he'd actually be like, we'd just have a whole squad of them. <laughs> you haven't yeah. got any healer. We don't need a healer. They're all fucking tanks. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so they've they've dropped Bojack and Bridged. Uh, they're on hold for the next series. Uh, in the meantime, they're doing... Uh, you son of a bitch. We got a thing, right? Uh, herbs? Yes. Yeah. 
I feel like it's worth using at this point. Yeah, no, it's, that seems it pretty dares legit. Death, another freaking trap. <laughs> <laughs> Out of my way! I must cleanse myself. Okay. I mean, yeah. yeah. Works for me. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, but they're out, they're doing a load of other stuff. Um, they're doing uh, DB shorts, which are like little um, computer game skits. Yeah. I say computer. Game, they're using the models from like the games, you know, the three D mm. models to do like, little animated shows. Um, they've done like a, a quick taster one, which was quite entertaining. Uh, they're doing. Blank in five minutes. Like recently, they've done JoJo's Bizarre Adventure in five minutes. Yeah. Which was moderately entertaining, but it meant nothing to me, having never seen JoJo's and never really bothering to go and look into it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they've basically said, like, we're trying all these out. Please support us because, you know, we're trying new things. They're also doing, like, a, a series. Yeah. Just called Abridged, which is, like, literally a comedy sitcom about them as abridgers. Hmm. Which, I've seen two clips of it now, and I'm like, it's not grabbing me, but I'd be tempt I would have to watch a proper episode to really commit. Yeah. Because it's like a bit where basically Grant's like, the, the clip I keep seeing is Grant like going, so we need to do something, like, to make content. And he just goes to Kieran, and he just goes, yes. And he goes, so I'm thinking this. And he goes, yes. Are you just saying yes because you're coming around anything else? Yes. And it's <laughs> like, eh, that's I feel like that's lazy writing, but, yeah. you know, don't judge too harshly, give him a chance. As a general rule, I'm okay with people trying new things, but in th this case, I kind of wish they'd focus on the stuff that they're already doing that I really enjoy. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of people in the same boat, but they've equally said, you know, like, doing DBZ Abridged is exhausting, and we don't want to get into the thing where doing it full-time and just that is making us miserable. And they said, plus... Doing the EBC Bridge all the time interferes with the rest of our lives, like our actual day jobs, so we have to do other things. I'm like, yeah, I mean, you're giving very legitimate arguments for all these, and none of which I particularly care about. Yeah. But <laughs> it's like, you don't need to justify it to me, dude. I'm I'm just happy for you to put it out when you can. I mean, they, they... It's the fans like you who are going to go and leave snide remarks on their website that they should be worried about. <laughs> I mean, when they started, I remember back when they started the uh, the gaming channel. They were like, we can't really advertise our stuff for our regular things because, you know, it doesn't belong to us legally. We're not going to make money off of it. This is the way for you to actually support us. Mm. Increasingly, it feels like that, that they just want to do the other stuff. Yeah. And the stuff that they started out on that, we're, that we've supposedly been supporting, it, now it's... Uh, it's become inconvenient for them. It's something they feel like they're just stuck with. Yeah, I mean, I see where you're coming from. But I suppose in a way they're like... They are, you know, trying to make a partial... Li well, some of them are making, like, proper living out of doing it. Yeah. Um, I'm never quite sure, like, who's full-on TFS and who's, like, I have a job outside of this and I come in when I can. Yeah. Because I feel like Grant is now officially TFS. <laughs> like, I think he's gaming lead. Yeah. Because whenever there's a tech problem, he's on the stream or he's there, and and he says like when he's on holiday, if one of his friends calls him, he always asks, "Are you calling as a friend or calling from the office?" <laughs> yeah. Which is, I feel um, like, how I would be if you ever actually rang me. <laughs> <laughs> Grant might have the most screen time on the gaming channel. Oh yeah, he, he definitely does. <laughs> he definitely has the most screen. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm okay with that because I actually really like Grant. He's probably yeah. my favorite TFS member nowadays. <laughs> I miss Ben. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. I feel like Kieran's just kind of more irritating than he used to be. Yeah. But that's just me, you know, my personal... I have nothing against the guy. He's quite entertaining, don't get me wrong, but there are just times where, like, I hear him say things and I'm like, that's not funny, that's just annoying. <laughs> I think maybe I'm reading into things too much, but we... I mean, he's open about the fact that he does have mental health issues. Yeah, I, I know. I, mean, I think sometimes when he's down, he deals with it by bouncing back a little too much. Yeah, I, I agree. I feel like he, he tries to be quite, you know, upbeat most of the time. But then when he is having an issue, he, he just comes across as really sort of like, just really narky. <laughs> yeah. And I, again, like, credit to him for still persevering and stuff. Because, you know, 
nothing worse than having bad mental health and you know trying to do things yeah but uh i don't know i feel like sometimes it's just because you've got bad mental health and you know you're not going to be yourself just take a break just don't do it yeah I mean, which he, which he has done in the past. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, so... Maybe just figuring out what works for him. But yeah, like, I I struggle to know, like, who's full-time doing what these days. But, uh, yeah, I feel like Grant is now full-time, because I feel like he's full-time tech support for, um... Oh, no. I mean, this team could probably take it, but... Yeah, but not... <laughs> Maybe we'll fight the boss yeah, and let's, see what, let's, what state we're in. Let's kill the boss and see what happens. Yeah, if we're in a good state, then I think we should try that, because I think you can get some ancestor items Yeah, that you way. can. I think there are some you can only get that way. Uh, yeah, we would like to get all the ancestor items. So we'll see what we're looking like after the boss. Thank God we dodged that trap. Yes. Shh. Okay, <laughs> we're all ready. As the light gains yeah. purchase, spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. I just okay. we walk in and he's not here. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh. And the hmm. orders, and the crew obeys. Yeah, that summons a guy to the front, and that's messed with our order. But it doesn't make a difference, I don't think. No, they, these two are fine. I don't know, yeah. I think. Anyway, let's let's buff up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I, I see where you're coming from in terms of like, oh, 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 mm -hmm. anyway. That, that doesn't use this term, though. Oh, yeah, that's okay. But yeah, I... I yeah, so he's the guy who protects. puts us in the bubble. We need... Mm -hmm. He's the guy who does the bubble moves. We need to clear him out of the way, ideally. Yeah. What? Well, the dodge isn't that high. Yeah. It's, it's medium. High... <laughs> dodge! Let me show you a thing or two about dodging. <laughs> this fight's just going to be neither side able to hit the other the whole way through. Isn't That's it? okay because we have flight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. Yeah. Ninety percent resist. A singular. Yep. Not two forty. Yeah, that. I feel like that's. Oh, that's a stress move. Oh, that's a stress. <laughs> Oh, is that going to mess up our order? No, it, was, it would have done. But... Yeah. Scree! <laughs> there you go. Hmm. Right there. So, buff up you next, then. At some point, we'll get some blight in. Yeah. I'll not be stunning you again. No. I mean, your stun isn't huge. Yeah. Their blight resist is really low. Yeah. I mean, that solves hey. a problem. Yeah. Oh, well, they get two turns, don't they? Anchor. That's not ideal. Yeah. Stunning our damage dealer. <laughs> Wait, does it heal him as well as these? It looks like. Oh, that's, yeah, that's less than ideal. We just need to beat this guy down. Oh, on the plus side, he's lost all his protect. Ah. He was hiding behind the anchor. I don't know what that was, but no. Nope. Oh man, that stress is building. <laughs> wow, oh. that stress is building. Oh yeah, he can still attack while he's in there, can't he? He just, uh, he can't move, which is... Fine. <laughs> yeah. Which is ideal. <laughs> yeah. Right, time to start f***ing him up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like I say, uh, I, I know what you, what you mean, like, it's that they seem to be moving away from DB's Airbridge. Mm -hmm. But again, I, it, in a way it makes sense because they, you know, they want to make all this stuff. Yeah. But... Saying that, I feel like the um, the gaming channel's really suffered recently. Like, they've just had no output for like a month. Yeah, it's, it's gotten very intermittent. Anyway. Although it has to be said, over like the last week, they've literally put out like five streams, and it's like, have you just been stockpiling these or what? <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I don't know. I find the streams very hit and miss. Like quite a lot of the time, I genuinely don't care about most of the streams. <laughs> like there's only the odd one where I'm like, yeah. I feel like they are pretty much. They did a lot of... I feel like Scrunchgate pretty much murdered the gaming channel. Scrunchgate. When they cheated at their Nuzlocke. Which... 
I, was, I definitely did that, and I can't remember it very much. In Ruby Sapphire, they they party wiped and then uh, rewound it. They made an episode. They uh, didn't show the footage. They just did showed them refighting it as if it was the first time. Oh so yes, they got, they got called out on it. Yes, I remember. Yes, because something wasn't right, was it? Uh, they had different items equipped than what they went in, than what they showed themselves going into the fight with, basically. Yeah. I mean, I feel like the thing that's kind of done them in a bit with that is the fact that they're putting off the Pokemon ones as well. Mm. Like, they said, you know, we're not going to do... Oh, wow, that's mm. quite high-bite resist. Yeah. Um, they said, like, oh, we're not going to do the next one until Sword and Shield comes out, so you'll just have to wait. And again, that's like, people are like, well, you're not giving us what we want. Yeah. Ha, repost. Yeah, I found I found it very hard to care about the Pokemon stuff after discovering that, you know, if they did have real losses, like a Nuzlocke is supposed to make you have, they were just gonna ignore it. Oh. oh that's not ideal. It. Well That's one step closer. Yeah, he can move forward. Yeah. I don't know if it matters where which way around those two are, so... Probably not now, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the only thing it affects is incision, which I doubt we're going to Yeah, we're using. not going to use. But yeah, I mean, that probably annoyed some people. I, I wasn't bothered personally, but, you know, that's just me. Yeah. I mean, they had done a lot of Pokemon stuff. I can understand why they'd want to put it on call now. Yeah, but it's just... Oh, not again. Okay, that's not what I wanted. But yeah, I just feel like it's very... You know... The the gaming channel's become kind of one of the focuses, and a lot of the stuff on it I don't really care about. Some of it... I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy the bargain barrel with Zito and Brian. Uh, I don't particularly care for Brian, to be honest, but I really... I find Zito very entertaining when he's, like, super hyped about games. Yeah. Um... And it's nice to see some of these games, because I will never play them. So, you know, the, the fact that I get to see them because somebody's doing them is good. That's fair. That's something I get on the uh, stream sometimes. People saying, I'm glad you played this, so I don't have to. Yeah, I mean, that, that is literally how it is with some of the games they play. Because it's like, this is a game that I've wanted to know the story for, but I'm never getting around to playing. <laughs> so I appreciate you playing it for me. <laughs> um, also, it's always entertaining to see them making a hash of certain things. And you're like, are you fucking stupid? <laughs> <laughs> kind of what I do with you when you're on stream and I'm watching it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just um, it's just one of those things. And I like they're, they're doing the Shenmue stream, and I know that you've told me like Shenmue is good, mm. but I just can't bring myself to watch it. Yeah, and I don't know why. I think it maybe because the episodes are a little bit too long. Mm. The thing I do like about the stream is obviously I can watch it for like. If I've got 10, 15 minutes, I can watch it, drop out, and come back in later. Yeah. Have you watched any of the Shenmue stuff? Or no, I... Not, I not got around to starting yet. No, yeah. I, I... It's something about episode 20-something, and the other day I had, like, half an hour spare <laughs> between things, and I thought, do you know what? I haven't got anything to watch. I could watch the Shenmue, or start it, and see if it's worth continuing. And then I loaded it up, and the first video was, like, 45 minutes, and I was like, oh, I don't have time for this. Yeah. They just instantly put me off watching it. <laughs> oh, why? Why the stress? Why? So. I can put a stop to that. Nope. Oh. oh. Well, that's no not place. good. Oh, he's de-transformed. No oh. That's novel. Yeah. Dang it, we got through this with almost no damage. I was thinking we could actually go fight the space thing, but... I mean... Mac what... has to have his resolve tested when the thing is already dead. Yeah. What he is... de de transformed, but it broke the uh, the trap. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. I'd like to see his next turn, whether he can actually transform again or not. Because normally he can only transform once. Can you? I thought you could do it twice. Well, you can transform into the creature and back to your human self, I think. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, no, you probably can't transform that. Mm -hmm. uh, and don't we don't know what Hopeless does, do we? Just that it's 
probably stresses out everybody else in the party. Probably. It's not going to get a turn anyway, because that was poison. Yeah. That's some rubbish stuff. Yeah, that's crap. I guess we'll drop stuff for it, but... I mean, do we want to take the thing on? With a hopeless character? We'd be fighting three versus... Well, you know, it probably doesn't mean that he's useless. He'd just not be as reliable. Right, all right, but this is on your head. Well, no, I'm, I'm just sort of questioning, because, like, you know... Mm -hmm. What does hopeless do, I guess, is the question. I mean, he probably does the same as all of them. He's occasionally not going to take actions, and he's going to say stuff that's going to cause stress on other people. Probably, but I feel like that's not the end of the world. Uh, we can try it. Is there a way to flee it's, if it's we need to? I don't think you can flee from that fight, no. Normally you can run away from battles. That one, I don't believe that you can. Okay, let, let me just check before we do commit to anything then. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know what it does before... I mean, they, they all do roughly similar stuff. Uh, go away, go away, go away. He's, he's going to skip turns, maybe refuse healing. Probably stress out everyone else in the party. Uh, so, they actually all do have different effects. Yeah, they've all got slightly different effects, but... Hopeless. Minus five accuracy, minus five dodge, minus three speed. Hmm. Thirty-three percent chance refuses to retreat. Thirty-three percent chance refuses to be buffed or healed. Thirty-three percent chance refuses an item. Thirty-three percent chance refuses to eat at camp. Thirty-three percent chance refuses to use uh, or be the target of a camping skill. Okay. So nothing that actually. Yeah. You think we go for it? Five percent chance causes party stress. Ten percent chance moving one forward or back. 5% chance pass turn, 5% chance... So it's all pretty low. Okay. I mean, well, then, you, are you dead set against it? Would you really rather not take the risk? We could be, No, I, I, we can go for it, I guess. <laughs> this is a tough fight anyway, but these are not common, so... No. All right, then. And besides, we've not had a party wipe yet. That's not funny. <laughs> all right, here goes. Place the torch if you crave the void. Behold the infinite. Oh, really? Really? Hmm. We knew it was coming! <laughs> <laughs> Are we just moving? We, we need that pulse to up, don't Yeah, we, we really need that. <laughs> Yeah. I guess we transform and charge. Yeah. Can we charge from there? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not horrific. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're literally fucking useless there. You yeah. move. Oh yeah, things. Yeah. So you can clear them out. Obliterated. Clap a claw. How quickly the tide turns. Oof. Yeah. Jeez. Alright, well, all the buffs are out. We really need to just be moving him forward yeah. rather than messing around with those. Kill this thing before he gets another yeah. turn. A decisive pummeling. You are damned! <laughs> I mean, currently, yes. Mm. We can move forward too. That's, awesome. That's great, yeah. We're back in play. In play. Yeah. Haha. Annoying, but acceptable. Fuck him up! Yeah! Decimated. Oh, 
Retribution. Uh, well, there's no stone gems, so I guess we heal. Yeah. He's refusing to heal. Yeah. That's fine. He's okay at the moment. Yeah. What never hidden. Is that thing blightable? Please tell me it's blightable. It's blightable. Yes! We've got good blight resistance, but we've got really good blight chance. We so. do. Obdurous advancement. Ha! Counter! Ah! Bleeding! Yep. Eh, not the worst bleed we've ever had. No. I'm so glad that we have Mac! <laughs> Mac is turning out to be really, really good for this guy. Yeah, Mac is incredibly reliable for this. <laughs> yeah. So far? I mean, so far. Okay. Okay. Yeah, protect the healer. <laughs> we need you. Especially now that there's a little bit of bleed out there. Hmm. Well, I, don't suppose we, I suppose we've not seen any single target attacks yet. Do we need a shield up? Probably not. I don't think it actually has any single target. I think it relies on these things. Yeah, these two seem to. Yeah, I suppose it depends whether we kill them in time or not. Yeah. Oh, that stress is... Getting worrying. Mm. Oh. Did not need that. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I don't really have a choice, do we? We just keep the defend retribution up. Yeah. I mean, those things will assumedly die if that dies. Yeah. That's the thing that has to go. Yep. A powerful blow. Yeah, we will literally poison the life out of you, pal. <laughs> we need to move our shield out to Mac that if we're gonna shield just to protect him from the stress damage. Yeah. Oh, hopefully mm. that back thing's now out of commission. That would be nice. I'm not that optimistic. Yeah, I don't think it has a... On the plus side, we can poison it and this now. That, is a, just... that is a plus. Oh, we can just put slightly... Uh... Yes, I think it's worth poisoning yeah. both. Anything that's going to mess with that thing is good. Oh, I think we're about to get our resolve tested. Yep. Yeah. Come on, positive! Selfish. God damn it! <laughs> I get on. Yeah, I mean, you are the ranking officer. This is no time to be a dick about it. <laughs> Crush this thing. It's yeah, it's not. It's not poison. So yeah. Ugh. Come on, Mac. Don't have a heart attack. We need to kill this thing before you do that. Oh, come on. Come on, die. Things may be stunnable. It's worth a shot, maybe. Yes. Oh, nice. Just to reduce the stress. Oh, come on! Come on! That, it's dead, yeah. It's next turn. We just need to hold, hold out. Down. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe make sure they both die if we can. Yes. Really, Mac? Really? Time for self harm. <laughs> now is not the time, dude. Booyah! GG. -E oh, and the monies. Oh. Ancestor's map. Nice. Nice. Some money, a hero's ring. I mean, we can literally drop just about everything. Yeah. I think we're getting out of here. Oh, yeah. Right, drop the foods. Mm -mm. Oh, we've got more food, yeah. Okay. Yep, now we're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> GG everyone. Yeah, thanks for stage right. <laughs> Told you we could take it. Yeah, no, I'll admit you were right. I mean, it, Mac it was... nearly had a heart attack. Yeah. But... It was a rough battle, but it wasn't as hard as I was expecting. No, it's the little things that are annoying. Yeah. Like, the actual big boss thing's not actually that bad. I remember us having a lot of trouble with it before, but Mac was really good at clearing those things out. Yeah, I think that's, that's the thing, isn't it? Getting them off the table, preferably yeah. in one sweep. Yeah. Mac had a pretty good chance of killing both of them every turn. Whoop whoop! Yeah. Oh, uh, diseases. <laughs> Where'd he go? Eh. 
I think most of these guys are going to be out of action for a while in any case. Yeah. <laughs> Stress. Stress. Yeah. Spotted fever. Do you know what? You guys have earned your break. Yeah. Their customs are curious. And their generosity... No man knew yet. That's a new one. Hmm. Discounted prices. Interesting. I mean, they're probably still not going to be worth buying, but... Probably not. Well, if he's finally got rid of his yips. A few things go through there. Yep, lots of good times. Good mm -hmm. times! <laughs> and, uh, trinkets are cheap. Uh. Cheap. Uh. It's a fain scroll. Interesting. I mean, I'm tempted to buy it just for the collection, because we've yeah. never seen that before. Yeah, shall we grab it? Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Haste Chalice, I feel like that's new too. Yeah, I don't feel like I've seen that before. Nothing else here exciting. Caution Cloak? Maybe that's new. It's cheap. It's a bit poo, really. <laughs> it is, but it's, it's yeah. the collection. <laughs> we've got those three, haven't we? Yeah, we've definitely got those three. Yeah, that, that's fair. Right. Yeah, not bad. Cool. Right, we'll go do our admin. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time.